Hi, I'm Joe Maluso, and today we're going to be reading a great book by Patricia Thomas called There Are Rocks in My Socks, said the ox to the fox. There are rocks in my socks, said the ox to the fox. Bumpy old, lumpy old, clumpy old rocks, pinchy and squinchy whenever one walks. I feel very grumpy with rocks in my socks. See here, my dear steer, said the fox to the ox. Why don't you stop grumping and take out the rocks? I must say I've noticed the longer one talks, the less time one has for taking out rocks. But, sir, there's no way, said the ox to the fox to get rid of these rocks that are inside of my socks. With my shoes underneath, my feet firmly on top, I see no way at all of removing them rocks. Let me think, said the fox to the ox with a wink. There must be a way to get rocks out of socks. Eureka! I have it. Just do a flip-flop. Put your legs in the air so your feet aren't on top of the rocks. Which will then slide right out of your socks. It's a good thing I'm clever, said the fox to the ox. Yes, indeed, you are clever, said the ox to the fox. If I do a flip-flop so my feet aren't on top, then the rocks will come tumbling right out of my socks. Flip, zip, flop, plop. There's a tack in my back, said the ox to the fox. A prickly old, tickly old, stickly old tack. I really don't need this particular tack. If I found it was missing, I'd not wish it back. Furthermore, those rocks haven't budged from my socks, said the ox to the fox said the fox to the ox. There's no need to sigh. I'll have it solved in the blink of an eye. Quick, flick your tail near your back, and you'll knock aside quickly that prickly old tack. You're lucky I'm here, said the fox to the ox. Yes, you're a great help, said the ox to the fox. With a swish of my tail, I'll give that old tack a good whack. That'll knock it from under my back. Swish, whish, whump, thump. There's a rail on my tail, said the ox to the fox. A naughty old, cloddy old, rotty old rail. And I'm sure if this rail were placed on a scale, the whole thing would weigh... As much as a whale. I venture to state that in time one would hate the very great weight of a rail on one's tail. Not to mention the tack that's still in my back and all the rocks that are still in my socks, said the ox to the fox. There, there, don't despair, said the fox to the ox. For it's true, don't you see? I'm sure you'll agree. You've no more to fear as long as you've me. Your troubles are over. I swear it is true. For what else could possibly happen to you? Zzz, bzz. said the ox to the fox. Thank you, my friend, that your faith that my troubles will come to an end. Perhaps you are right to make light of my plight. But it seems that the end is not yet quite in sight. For here I remain with rocks in my socks, an attack in my back, and a rail on my tail. And if that's not enough, I believe a large bee has decided to stop and rest on my knee. 
That makes me uneasy. In fact, somewhat queasy. For a large bee is a thing with a very large sting. Said the fox to the ox. Yes, indeed, it does seem to me you'd be better off without that large bee. However, because I'm so clever, I instantly see a way to remove that large bee from your knee. Just be quick. Kick your toes in the air toward your nose, which will shake your knee free of that unwelcome bee. Of course, said the ox. How stupid of me. It's remarkably easy to shake off a bee. Flick, kick, zap, whap, said the ox to the fox. You've observed, I suppose, that I seem to have kicked myself hard in the nose. Meanwhile, the large bee, not choosing to flee, has been startled instead into stinging my knee, which is, I confess, quite unpleasant for me. What's more, with these rocks still stuck in my socks, and the tack in my back, and the rail on my tail, I do believe it is fair to state my situation is less than great. My word, said the bird. My eyes must be blurred. I've never seen anything quite so absurd. A big grown-up ox with his back on a tack and a rail on his tail and a bee on his knee gives his own nose a whack. Please don't go, Mr. Fox. As for you, Mr. Ox, would you care to relate how you got to this state? It's a rather long story, said the ox to the bird. It is hard to explain everything that's occurred. I believe it began with my friend here, the fox, who's an expert at getting rocks out of one's socks. Said the bird to the ox, I really must say, you're going about it in a very strange way. Why not simply roll over? Lift your back off the tack, then slide your tail out from under the rail and straighten your knee which so obviously will set the bee free. Mumble, tumble, roll, bless my soul. Now take off your shoes, then take off your socks. Try wiggling your toes, then dump out the rocks. Next, put back each sock, then put back each shoe, which is all, Mr. Ox. That you needed to do. Is it true what I've heard? Said the ox to the bird. All I needed to do to get rid of these rocks was to take off my shoes and empty my socks? Of course, said the bird. Jiggle, wiggle, bump, 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 thump, hump, lump. I believe said the ox. It might well be said that my friend the fox has rocks on his head. The end. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll receive our latest videos as soon as they're released.